So someone, some group unknown, and uh, Lena, I think some Palestinian group. Well, here's what, uh, again, these are preliminary reports. Uh, a Palestinian group has claimed responsibility for the New York World Trade Center plane attacks. Abu Dhabi Television reported it received a call from the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine uh, claiming responsibility for crashing two planes into uh, the buildings. Uh, meaning no disrespect to the Palestinians, but I don't think they have the... I don't think they have the... Uh, the the wires are also reporting the that uh, the White House is now being evacuated. Yes, I was just... The West Wing I, I would and, imagine uh, other every, parts, major, yes. every major... Every uh, major... Any, anything that could be considered an attack. This is a guard outside the White House who, you're uh, you know, if you're near right the there. White House, don't go near it because uh, they are, they're in emergency mode now and they're going to shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, in New York, you have an attack on the World Trade Center. Two planes deliberately crashed in, one about 18 minutes apart. The first one crashed into the tower that you're looking at on the right. The second one, which we actually had videotape of, uh, the second attack came 18 minutes later on a tower on the left. Where the Pentagon attack fits in in the timetable, we're not sure, but it appears to have followed the World Trade Center attack, but maybe not by more than 15 minutes. And then you have the Pentagon situation. Now, uh, and now okay, this, just Mark. A minute, uh, okay. And please be aware, the city of New York is virtually shut down. You cannot get into the city of New York right now from the New Jersey side. The tunnels and the bridge are closed because they could be tunnel. They could be uh, uh, targets of an attack as well. Elena, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. Uh, we're just getting this in. Uh, this seems to be a, uh, a separate incident. Uh, smoke is seen rising from the center of Washington, uh, according to uh, television reports. Uh, so that, uh, that could be in addition to what is going on at the Pentagon. Of course, we want to remind you that the West Wing of the White House and now the Capitol Building have both been evacuated uh, uh, because of all of this that has been happening uh, over, uh, obviously, concerns over terrorist threats. Um, uh, again, a, a, um, it's virtually unbelievable. I mean, it's like something out of a movie. US who would, who would ever have thought that... Uh... Mark, this is John Buss. Yeah, John. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mark, uh, this is uh, the most horrific scene I've ever seen. Uh, bodies have begun falling from the building. Oh, my God. Uh, there is such intense smoke. Uh, I've seen uh, a half a dozen from where I'm standing, which is uh, in the World Financial Center. Uh, people either are falling or they are leaping to escape this smoke. It is as horrific as you would imagine. Uh, the people are dropping. One is falling at this very instant. Uh, arms are splayed and they're crashing to the ground uh, on top of the glass canopy, the plastic plexiglass canopy outside of the building and onto the street. Uh, there are fire trucks all around. The firefighters are either inside the building or standing uh, back from it because of the debris. And now, uh, this just began about four minutes ago, uh, uh, people having to jump, apparently, to escape uh, the flames. I thought at first it was debris, but now uh, looking uh, at one after another, probably I've seen uh, eight or nine of these uh, individuals have to leap to escape the flames and the, this intense smoke uh, falling what must be something on the order of 75, 85 floors uh, to the street below. Uh, John, this is coming uh, from... Um from the North Tower? This is coming from the North Tower. Okay. Uh, these are people who I see jumping uh, out onto the west, what it would be the West Side Highway, yeah. passing yeah. in front of the building. Uh, and uh, as you can imagine, Mark, uh, it is a gruesome scene. It's just uh, blood uh, or red from, I can't confirm it's, uh, it, that, that it's absolutely bodies, but I can see it, it sure looks that way. All right. And then red um, uh, splotches on the, on, the, on, the, on the street in front of the okay. building. Mark, a couple of things I want to yes. pass along very quickly. According to the Associated Press, the White House has been threatened with a terrorist attack, according to a source. The West Wing has been evacuated. We want to mention now the Capitol has been evacuated as well as well the US Treasury uh, and also uh, on, an, on another front I want to mention Alina. that this Palestinian group has denied responsibility yeah, for the, the Palestinians attack. don't have this kind of muscle the um, uh, all aircraft all aircraft flights in the United States have now been canceled every aircraft in, in the air has been ordered to land at the nearest airport immediately 
Uh, this is obviously a, uh, a step uh, to clear the air of all innocent aircraft. Um, whether there remain any guilty aircraft is uh, debatable, but at least uh, what the government is trying to do is clear the air and obviously, uh, well not obviously, but it looks like what they will do is they will then put up military planes and anyone still in the air is going to get shot down. Uh, but uh, all aircraft flights in the United States have been canceled. All planes currently in the air have been ordered to land at the nearest available airport. I don't know how they will handle flights coming from overseas. Uh, they will probably be told to land as they cross our border. Uh, you are looking now, if you're just joining us, you are looking at the World Trade Center on the left. The North Tower is the one on your right. South Tower is the tower on your left. Earlier this morning, they were the target of, of an apparent terrorist attack with an airplane, a substantial airplane, p perhaps even an American Airlines jetliner hijacked out of Boston. That's a perhaps. Hello. Crashed into that tower at, um, oh, shortly after 9 o'clock. Um, and uh, then... 18 minutes later, a, uh, a plane into the South Tower and then the Pentagon. Let's join MSNBC and see what they have on this story so far. ...be dealt with. Probably this will be a greater challenge to our intelligence and our ability to be diplomatic and intelligent about negotiation than it is a challenge to our strength as a military power. The FAA is telling us that the planes that are already in the air will continue to their destinations, but all other planes in aerospace above the United States have been grounded. Uh, Governor Cuomo, I understand um, that uh, your successor, uh, George Pataki, is in New York City right now. Um, there are a number of state offices, aren't there, Governor, in the, oh, yes, in the Twin my Towers? Office my office and and uh, i i think the governor moved his office out of the world trade center governor pataki but my office was there and i think there are still some some other offices there but not as many as there were when i was governor Air yes. Force One is uh, now leaving sarasota florida on its way back to washington dc but uh, let me just read directly the bulletin from Associated Press. The White House was evacuated today after the Secret Service received credible threat of a terrorist act against the presidential mansion and residents. It has been evacuated. The Pentagon struck, apparently according to one eyewitness, a reporter, by a plane. A large plane is now burning. It has been evacuated. Two planes... Uh, deliberately struck, it appears, the World Trade Center, which still burns at this hour. New York City has essentially been shut down. The uh, Lincoln Tunnel is closed. All New York airports are closed. And now, of course, all plane flight in the United States has been stopped. Those in the air will continue to their destinations. We continue on the phone with uh, former New York Governor Mario Cuomo, who was governor at the time of the previous attack on the World Trade Center, the bombing, back in 1993. Uh, if you can hold on for just one second, we want to listen in, Governor, to Jim Mikloszewski, uh, who is reporting from the, the area of the Pentagon. The Pentagon, again, has uh, been evacuated. The second floor buckled upward, and then the third floor above him actually collapsed downward. Uh, the scene on the other side of the building, as it's being described to us, uh, there are people being removed on stretchers. Security forces are evacuating the building right now. And, uh, and according to the officials uh, uh, here at the Pentagon, uh, they still don't know exactly what it was. But as you reported, Katie, eyewitnesses reported that, in fact, it was a plane that crashed into the Pentagon. And Mick, any idea? I, I, I wasn't quite sure if you said this about the number of people who might have been hurt or worse in this? No idea at all, Katie. As you know, having worked here on any given day, this is a small city, 25 to 30,000 people may be working here at any one time. Uh, that portion of the Pentagon, by the way, uh, had just been remodeled and just reopened. Uh, if the crash had occurred just a few months ago, uh, that section of the Pentagon would have been uh, virtually empty.
empty. Uh, but at this time of day, uh, early morning uh, or mid-morning, the Pentagon's very busy. Uh, it's impossible to say uh, how, many, uh, uh, how many casualties there may be. Uh, but uh, there have been uh, a, a large number of people cited. Being